according to the United Nations, the health and prosperity of humanity is directly tied with the state of our environment. Land degradation, loss of biodiversity, and pollution are already present. Without changes, our future might lead to an end. As climate change occurs and temperatures increase, populations of species are declining and extinction rates are rising. Our population is increasing and is about to reach nearly 10 billion by 2050. Still, there are still ways that we can help before everything is too late. One way to start is whenever you're going outside, always check if your appliances are plugged off. If you're not using them, always turn them off to save money, energy, and ensure safety. Maximize the use of natural light. Open your curtains to let sunlight illuminate the room instead of using fluorescent bulbs to save energy. Another good habit to practice is the use of reusable containers instead of the plastic ones. If you look at your surroundings, there is a large chance that you'll see a plastic bag lying on the road which goes to show how damaged our environment is. Using reusable containers will not only save you money but you are also setting a good example to the people around you. Consider switching to reusable bags as it is more durable. Using plastic bags clog drainage systems and these take thousands of years to degrade. Animals can also die from the consumption of such materials. It is reported that 100,000 marine animals die every year because of it. Traffic not only causes great stress, the large number of cars that continue to emit smoke are also one of the contributing factors of air pollution which can cause diseases, especially respiratory problems when we get too exposed from it. Taking public transportation is much cheaper and environmentally friendly than using private vehicles. If you see lots of non-biodegradable materials in your home, another good habit to practice is to make an echo brick, which is made up of non-biodegradable materials densely packed in a plastic bottle that can be used for almost anything such as for furniture, walls, or even for decoration. It also serves as a way of keeping the waste from intoxicating our environment. Whether we're cleaning plates or just washing our hands, it is important to practice the habit of turning the faucet off if we're not using it. Always keep in mind that every single droplet counts. By doing this, you do not only conserve water, you can also lessen the cost of your water bills. Avoid smoking because cigarette products have a negative impact on our environment, as the consumption of it releases toxic air pollutants in the atmosphere, and it also pollutes our water and soil. It has also direct risks to human health as smoking is considered as one of the leading causes of lung cancer and other respiratory problems. Instead of bringing plastic utensils, bring your own cutlery such as wooden or metal cutleries. Most of the time, these plastic cutleries can only be used once. By the time it degrades, it has already made its way into our environment. According to the Ocean Conservatory, cutleries are the items that are most deadly to animals. By simply following this, you are consciously doing an effort to save the environment. Another way we hurt the environment without knowing so is wasting papers in general. A lot of trees are being cut down just to produce papers, and deforestation is a major issue that we are currently facing. Since we're already in the digital world, consider going paperless. Having your files in a device is much more convenient as compared to bringing piles of paper with you. Whenever we consume something, we must not throw it casually. It is our responsibility to dispose of it properly. If there is no trash can near, a sewage is not an option to throw your trash in. You must wait until you see a garbage bin. Our environment is getting more damaged as the days go by. The tendency to have such indifference to the environment might be rooted from the idea that there will be other people who would do the things that everyone is supposed to do. We should all have the initiative when it comes to proper waste disposal. Think of it as a line of dominoes. The more the environment becomes unsanitary, the less we have clean air to breathe, which can lead to people having diseases and illnesses. It's not just us that will be affected, but the animals as well. We are always told that we are the people of tomorrow. But how can we be so if there will be nothing to look forward to anymore?